In 1930, Gandhi walked for 23 days. And the end of it, he picked up a fist of salt. That changed India's history forever. Today, you don't need to walk, but if you pick up a book and work with kids, India's history can change again. My name is Rukmini Banerjee. I work with Pratham, which is the name of my organization. And so the original idea of Pratham was to bring together a whole cross-section of people in Bombay as citizens of Bombay to really build one of the most basic things that any city needs, which is it's the foundation with education of its children. The one thing that I found quite interesting as I was looking at the information is your willingness as an organization to learn from uh, critique. That we've been very open to measurement. We really want to know, you know, are we reaching where we thought we ought to be going? This is a, a really interesting uh, approach because, no, most organizations do not use metrics. And I'm going to tell you, most companies, by the way, <laughs> don't use metrics. You know, we've done a lot of work with, um, with this group from MIT. Um, the Poverty Action Lab. Yes. We asked parents, okay, here's my tool right. thing. So your kid, where do you think he's at? Mm -hmm. And so parents told you where they're at. And systematically, both parents and teachers overestimated where the kids were at. They all thought the kid were doing better. And that's partly because I think we're a big country with many children. We love our children, but we don't actually <laughs> pay very close attention <laughs> right. to each child. Mm -hmm. But that's human nature. Yeah. You know, it's no different in business. We all overestimate our effects, I'll put it that way. And so it's fascinating that you, that, that you say that. So here we are today, and tonight uh, Pratham will receive the, the Kravis Prize. I think as long as the world has existed, some people have tried to focus on altruism and on giving others a hand, and you know, a hand up, not a push down, and so on. And I think that's the eternal challenge of our society. We feel that uh, over the next couple of years, really looking at how we can think about leadership in a more kind of a concrete way might be the best way we want to use this. Uh, we have to have a lot of discussion, both with you and with perhaps others at. Uh, uh, at Claremont McKenna and elsewhere about what would be the best way to use this? Well, to me, a, uh, a leader has to have a vision, first of all. We've got to start with that, what is the vision? And then from that, uh, they have to be able to communicate exceptionally well uh, that vision. Uh, they have to, obviously, in order to be a good leader, they have to have followers. And so they have to be able to convince people that uh, they're vision, their idea, makes sense for people to follow behind them. It gives me great pleasure, Dr. Banerjee, and you are a, just a superb representative of this fine organization, and we hope we see you often in New York and